Okay, today we're going to talk about the 5 Series IP camera. Now, a brand new firmware has been brought out for these 5 Series cameras that has made the device extremely attractive. Now, we have some brand new features that have been embedded into things like the artificial intelligence, and the camera that we've had for a very long time has all of a sudden been given an advanced kick, and of course, in this case here, made it very powerful for some applications and solutions you might have. Okay, so let's have a talk about what the 5 Series camera does have. Now, I actually have an active deterrent camera. My personal favorites are the actual active deterrent. So let's just take a look at this one here. These are all of the same, these three here. So we actually have the siren on the front. We also have the white light. Now, this white light can, in fact, actually be configured so then that way it does permanently on or the flicker effect. So I do actually know a couple of people that have used cameras as such as the 5 Series Active Deterrent and they've actually used it for our outdoor spotlight. The moment that a human comes into the field view, then of course the light comes on, stays on, and then of course whenever the human leaves, then of course the light goes out. We also have features such as the audio in and audio out, and we also have the alarm input and output. The camera can be powered by a 12 volt DC jack as well as PoE. Now the cameras support two, four, five, and eight megapixel resolutions. All of them are H.264 and H.265 compatible. And one unique feature with these devices is that we of course obviously have SMD, smart motion detection, where we filter out between human and motor vehicle, but SMD and IVS can run simultaneously. On previous models and definitely earlier models than a five, then of course it was rather one or another. You either did IVS like tripwire or intrusion, or you did smart motion detection. On this device here, you can do both simultaneously. Another new feature with this new firmware is the scheduled smart plan, okay? So before, whenever you put on face detection or IVS for intelligent video system, then of course that was it, it was on. But now you can actually schedule your resource to in fact actually do something throughout the course of a day with a completely different feature. So for me, I have one of these cameras and I have my own setup. So I know that face detection when it goes over to infrared will not be as accurate because it's a gray and monochrome image. So on my camera, during nighttime, I do IVS for human and vehicle. So if you break the intrusion detection area, the camera will trigger. But then around about 9 o'clock until 4.30, then of course a de IVS deactivates and face detection activates. So then anybody walking past the actual ca camera will capture the actual face and then log that into my MVRI. I can set up multiple schedules. I can actually have you know IVS on at night, face detection in the morning, people counting for lunch, and then of course heat mapping in the afternoon. So we can actually do a scheduled IVS with this new firmware. Okay, let's talk about what this new firmware has brought this 5 Series camera. So under the smart plan, you can do people counting, heat mapping, IVS, and now smart object detection. Now, the actual cameras will vary between which smart plans you can and cannot do prior to its model and its megapixel rating. However, though the majority of the 5 Series cameras can do all of those features. You can only do one resource at one time. However, of course, now that we have this new firmware, smart object detection, okay? Now before, when we actually have missing and abandoned object, it could literally be anything. The whole study of the multi-megapixel change, you put something into the field of view, then of course you've left it behind then of course the alarm goes off but that could have been anything that could have been a lamp a wallet or a bowl of fruit but of course like in this case now it must be a bag luggage or a box so if it doesn't match those parameters of a bag box or luggage then of course the alarm will not do anything it will just sit there and just look at the field of view okay but the second that you put a box into the actual field of view rather for missing or abandoned then of course the alarm will trigger immediately. We've got a couple of demonstrations that we'll show you now. Okay, so on your 2020, that will now in fact actually make the blue box flash red, and on the 2021, nothing will happen. I'll take this away. Now I'm gonna add a bag. And now on both on your 2020 and your 2021, they will both now flash red. One because something's come into the box, but now with the other one, it's some luggage. We'll put the bottles in, 2020 will flash, 2021 will not. Okay, 
Okay. This camera and has been for a long time doing intrusion detection and tripwire, but intrusion detection has now been improved with this new firmware. To a certain level, this camera can now do loitering detection. Before, we used to in fact actually go into intrusion detection. We used to do up here, we used to do cross, and now we can do inside. Meaning that if you go into the box, for maybe five, six, 20 odd seconds or so, but then you don't leave, then of course the alarm will be triggered. And then of course we can classify that as loitering detection. It only works on a human and a vehicle, but if you go into that area and you haven't left yet, the five series camera, the alarm will fire. One of the unique features that Dawa have with cameras with audio, then of course we actually have a protocol embedded, which is RTMP, Real Time Messaging Protocol. This camera has the ability to stream to YouTube directly by in fact actually setting up the actual link, going into your YouTube, set your settings, and then of course you would literally be able to put this online and have it streamed to a live YouTube video channel. Okay, now using my DSS Pro, I've also found a very unique feature that the light and siren actually show up as a unique element in DSS Pro for alarm linkage. I can actually set up one camera, set up an intrusion detection area, and whenever that alarm goes off or somebody enters that area, I can tell this camera to then flash the actual light. But then using DSS Pro, I can also tell this camera and this camera to turn on their lights as well. Now that um, we have the DSS Pro, it sees these devices and it sees the siren and the lights as separate elements of the camera itself, opposed to just simply being a camera with video view. So of course in this case here, I do have right now a solution where if I break the intrusion detection on one camera, three illuminated cameras turn on at the same time. That's also the powers of DSS Pro and alarm linkage. Okay, as you can see, this firmware has really brought the 5 Series camera back to life. It was a good enough product in the first place, but it's definitely even better now. If you need this new firmware, then just contact my team at support.uk at dowertech.com. They have the firmware for all of the 5 Series products. And then of course, in this case here, we can get you up and running with these brand new attractive features. Don't forget to like, hit the bell and subscribe. All the best.